All right, my name is Anthony Samuel, and today I'm going to show you how to create a rear seat delete for your 2005 to 2009 Mustang GT. All right, the first thing you want to do is obviously you're going to want to take out the rear seats. You can do that by there's a little tablet right here where the top of the part goes. You just pull that, pop that out, and there's a one, two, and then three 13 millimeter little sockets you got to take out and then I think those two up there are 10 so you want to do that first and then we're at Lowe's so we're gonna go get the wood all right I opted for this pine right here it's cheap and sturdy enough for what we're doing and we'll have plenty for what I got for $20 all right this is the before shot of what I'm doing right now right now I'm taking any type of tape really I personally use this uh, paint tape and I'm going over the measurements of what I'm going to do. All right, you can see I stopped about halfway right here, and this is where the board is going to cover. I'm obviously going to put a distinct line because I'm not going to cut the board all stupid like. There's going to be a distinct line just like the one offered by American Muscle, and that's where I'm going to cut the board. And if everything works out great, it should measure up perfectly. And I'm doing everything in the Lowe's parking lot, hopefully, before it storms like hell. So hopefully it works out. Um, to do this correctly, of course you want to lay down everything. It doesn't really matter. You know, like I said, overlapping is fine. You're going to use a pencil to draw the marks. But you just want to make sure you co well, just coat it in layers of tape so that whenever you peel it off, it comes out even and like strips are just not left. Really all you really need is the outer strip and your distinct lines that you have. But you want to keep that base right there so that it doesn't crinkle up on you and just distort the size at all. All right, tune in. You'll also notice this area left by the seatbelt getting in the way right here. I didn't want to remove the seatbelt in case I wanted to put the seats back, but there are two ways to get this uh, thing filled up right here. You can tape over it as is with the seatbelt in the way and really just hope for the best. But what I'm going to do is after I lay everything out on a piece of wood, I'm gonna get this measurement right now, which looks like an inch and a half that closes up up there. That'll be easy to get, so I'll do that. The reason I'm leaving this right here open is because of that cord is in the way. So that won't be a problem really. So stick around. All right, you can see where I only taped half of it for one seat. And I just used the measurements off that and made the second piece. I allowed extra uh, measurements for all the sides to give us some leeway in case we mess up and have to change anything. Everything worked out fine. I went and remeasured. Like I said, we have extra room on all sides in case we mess up or anything like that, which I fully expect, but you know, it's good to tweak it. All right, we're gonna get this cut and see how it fits. We didn't get as much done as I wanted today because of the rain. However, we did get all the boards cut out. Looks like we'll be able to fit everything on one piece of pine, which is really good. Very glad about that, saves $20. So I guess we'll pick everything up tomorrow. All right, news update. I was driving down some back alley and uh, luckily I ran into some guy who had a circular saw and I was able to cut out the right measurements and everything. So uh, good thing for strangers. All right, we're on day two here and I've managed to find a circular saw in my basement, so I've been using that. It's kind of rusting from the 90s. Nevertheless, you can see how we've measured everything out and it's gonna fit nice and fine, nice and snug with that uh, carpet on there. We're gonna use fleece, uh, I'm about to go down the road and get it. You can see some issues up there, like that part sticking out, how it's square and it doesn't match the rear right there. But that can easily be solved with uh, just a pencil and tracing what needs to be cut out and cutting out yourself. You can do that if you want. I'm not necessarily going to do that right now. I'm going to wait till I get the fleece and see how everything fits with that fleece. And then I left, I cut this part out because if you leave it in there and put the board over, it's going to stick up obnoxiously. So go ahead, cut that out. Uh, I, I cut about um, two and three quarters inches. I just cut it in the middle right there. Cut my big piece in the middle, that is cut it right in the middle where that center part is. Then I went over uh, whatever half of two and three quarters is on each side. Uh, not two and three quarters on each side, just half of two and three quarters on each side. And that should give you enough room. The reason it is two and three quarters is not because of this piece right here, but right here, this circular piece, it, it just sticks out like that. 
and it's really annoy annoying to get around. Uh, and then I left a little bit of space on each side to adjust for the carpet. This side's a lot more snug, obviously, but uh, I don't really care. The carpet I'm getting isn't this thick. It's uh, it's the same material fleece, but it's not that thick. It's kind of thinner, and we're about to head there and get it. All right, this is the material we've chosen to get. Uh, it's the same material as the carpet, unfortunately. It's uh, not as rough as the carpet. Uh, maybe I'll get two layers and rough up the top layer with some steel wool or something. But um, here you can get an idea of what it looks like. Uh, so we'll go ahead and purchase that. All right, here's the carpet I just bought. Um, it doesn't match the stock carpet exactly, but it should be fine for what we're doing, the seat elite kit. Uh, and maybe later on I'll dye it more black and it'll match it perfectly as you can tell it's not rougher But I got two layers of it and then like I said I'll just take some steel wool and rub it over and it should look fine uh, The reason I just spread it out like this is just to give you an idea of what it looks like the boards are in the trunk and uh, Everything should look good Well, I just finished up the rear seat delete. So let's go ahead and take a look at it as I expected, it turned out perfectly. Um, everything's even because I measured everything out and uh, the seatbelts cover up what little gap I have. You can just really measure it out. If I really felt like it, I would take this, The remember I left a space right there and I would just spread the two boards apart. And if you have any extra space, that's where you can get it from. So just fill every crack you can. Um, and pardon the dirt over there. I'll clean that up here in a second. And right now I'm heading to an auto parts store to get a little that little uh, thing to connect to that hole under there to where everything will be pressed down and look nice and sturdy. But even if you didn't want to connect the two, um, I have this, the back part in there pretty tight. And as for the bottom one, the same way. So it's going to stay in there no matter what. And to me it looks kind of clean without those little things to just pop it into those holes. I like it how it is. And really it's your own project you're making it yourself i spent less than forty dollars on it so i don't see why you would spend any more than that uh, other than gas driving your like local home improvement store back and forth but um easy project i did it in two days that rear seat delete normal cost is about 150 dollars. i did it for about 30 some so i'm glad you enjoyed it Alright, the tools you'll, you'll need, or at least what I use, are something to weigh down the boards as you cut it. I uh, use my toolbox, uh, maybe you have some special tool for that, I'm not sure. Um, then you'll need your tape, or you can use anything to measure it. This is how I measured it, you saw them earlier in the video. A stapler, this is an Aero T50 right there. Whatever PBN means, I'm not really sure. And the staples that I used are 3 8 staplers. So, get these. I don't know how much they are. It's like 3 bucks. Uh, maybe you have some on hand. I had to go get them last minute. And something to measure shit with. Uh, this. I forgot what it's called. Tape measure. And then a circular saw. This is, like I explained earlier, it's from the 90s. It's kind of rusted. It's not really sharp. But uh, it got the job done. That's about it. You'll also notice that what I personally did was on the back of the board that stands up, I got enough cloth to where I covered the back to where when you look inside the trunk, you won't see just freaking wood just sitting there. You can see the staplers, but you can just take a Sharpie and just color over those to make it black. But it looks pretty nice. This is the view right here. All right, I'm about to take you on a drive because as you should know, the rear seats had insulation in them, which deleted the sound. But um, I'm about to take you on a drive to show what it sounds like without the rear seats. Hold on, let me get somewhere where we can film. All right, it's kind of hard to film and switch gears at the same time, so we're just gonna do it in a second. All right, so let me get to a spot that I like. I like this spot. Here we go. That's what it sounds like it's a lot louder as you can tell but uh, like I said my car is very modified it doesn't have the cams in yet I come soon but um and this is just some normal driving I always shift around 2,000 rpm this is fourth 
fifth gear, 2,000 RPM. And uh, on the interstate, the drone's pretty bad because, like I said, uh, I just I'm aftermarket, and there's no rear seat, so it's a decent drone. But you get used to it. I've gotten used to it because I've driven like this for a long time. Uh, and once I get those cams in, it'll probably be worse. All right. So I hope my video was helpful and maybe it'll give you the confidence to make your own rear seat delete kit. It's under $40, saves you a lot of money. Have a good day.